Hi, it's Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about something called endometriosis, okay? What is this? It's basically a situation in a female body where you have extra tissue that's growing outside the uterus, around the fallopian tubes, around the ovaries. It's ca causing pain, inflammation, infertility, all sorts of problems with the menstrual cycle. Now, if you type this up and try to find the cause, it's always going to be unknown cause. But the, the female reproductive tissue is very highly sensitive to hormones, specifically estrogen. This is an estrogen dominant problem. It's too much estrogen. So everything that you do needs to be in the area of lowering the estrogen naturally. There's three things I'm gonna recommend. Uh, number one, your diet must be organic, uh, both in the area of meats and cheeses, as well as vegetables. Why? Because the chemicals that they spray on the vegetables, the stuff that they feed the animals has uh, GMO and they have pesticides, insecticides, and all that stuff mimics estrogen. Okay, the other thing, this is a side note, you definitely want to cut down the sugars too because sugar can greatly uh, exaggerate the production of estrogen. Number two, cruciferous vegetables. Why? Because the cruciferous vegetables like kale and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and bok choy, all are anti-estrogenic. They, they don't actually lower your total estrogen. What they do is they lower the bad and they increase the good so they help balance um, estrogen. So uh, there's even a concentrated type of cruciferous called DIM. You can look, do some research into that. Number three, iodine. This is very, very important. I like to recommend uh, the source of iodine from sea kelp, a really good organic sea kelp. You want it from a clean ocean, but Iodine decreases estrogen in the receptor cells, so it's really good for estrogen dominance. It's also good for uh, cysts in the ovary, fibrocystic breast, um, menstrual cycle, estrogen dominance. So this one's really, really key. And sometimes you have to increase it a little bit more that's, than what's recommended. So the only time you wouldn't want to take iodine is if you have a hyperthyroid condition. Okay, other than that, you can take it. Make sure it's in the morning because it tends to wake you up and it gives you energy, and you don't wanna have that affect your sleep, all right? Go ahead and apply these three things, and let me know how you do. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.